Evil Apple one here, guys. Welcome. We're going to be taking on the Dark Visions today. A lot of you guys have been asking to see me taking on the Dark Visions, so we're going to be using recordings live on stream. What could possibly go wrong doing things like these? Now, keep in mind, I am a guy who has been waiting a lot, so I have a lot of heavy units to utilize for this one. But if you want to see how I'm taking on, I will show you. Hopefully, I can give you a few tips and tricks. And in this particular fight, we're going to go against a Undead slash Reaper. And I want to focus a little bit around Ridges. Ridges is a really great unit when it comes to Dark Visions. We're also going to be utilizing Luca in here as well. So what do you say we go in and have a bit of fun? All units have at least Ice Elemental Resistance of 50% because we're using Sylvie to cast Ice Elemental Resistance with an upper 50%, so we have 100%. Now, the enemy does not have any AoE uh, Ice Attacks, only single targets. So it's not a problem taking on here. So we're using a two-turn setup because now we're no longer getting punished in turns. You can just take your sweet time setting up your unit as much as you want. So what do you say? Let's go in. He's ignoring us. Easy, guys. <laughs> you are still showing up in the video, so don't worry. <laughs> so we are breaking and buffing, of course. We're using Sylvia for that. But we also come in with the elemental resistance. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And look as we're using his ability, because the, the Tri Elemental Gift, that's where he get access to a Fire, Wind, and a Ice Element, where you can give that to the entire team for physical attackers and debuff that element with 120% for a single turn. Which is very nice, so we're going to be setting that one up. Ridges has a lot of great stuff. First off, he has an incredible uh, cooldown ability that gives a ton of killers. Even killers that can be really hard to build around your team. We got demons, humans, fairies, and undead slash reapers with 75% for four turns. So we're going to be casting that. But he's got a second option to play around with. He can give AR frames to the entire team. So now we can hit the chain cap. Thank you for the resub for 37 months in a row, you beautiful. Oh, Martin, you're beautiful as always. That you are. And then we can do whatever we feel like on the third turn. There we go. And of course, one of the most insane units for Dark Visions is, of course, Mastermind Sun. Do I even need to introduce this guy? But you will see just some of his more powers later down the line. And then we're just powering up on the units so they are ready to do as much damage as possible for next turn. Bum. Oh, wrong one. Ah, I thought so. The uh, triple cast just disappeared, but let's add it once again and add a fire elemental. There we go. <clears throat> the reason why I'm doing that is because that move he has, if you use a move beforehand, his other moves will be amplified, so that's why we do this with him. And there we are, and with Lucas, we then use, oh, it's right here, the gift of fire. We give everyone fire element, and we debuff him with 120%. And we are just going to be dual casting now with AR frames with Mastermind Zon. And the cool thing about Richie's is that you don't have to worry about Billy who is a dual wielder. He has a dual cast that works with the AR. Boom. Now we got a dual cast ARs in the background. We're going to be hitting the chain. And we're going to hit in with the full power of the blunt of what these units can do. There we are. We're going to go like this. And always start out with the AR chainings. There are, of course, no real power behind these units in the back of the line because Mastermind Sun is 100% evade, 100% provoker, but they can chain. Oh, hopefully I was fast enough there. Yeah, I think I was fast enough. Again, when you're sitting here talking, you're kind of like forgetting, remember to activate things. <laughs> and there we are. Maximine chain cap and everything. This time it went pretty well, so the first one was pretty easily done. The first one's all, always pretty easily. So we get the maximum cap of everything. Boom. Voila. Beautiful. Let's move on to the next one, shall we? So now our second uh, boss we're going to be fighting, our mini-bosses, is weak to magic, and you need to do dark elemental damage, and it does come in with light physical and magical attacks back to your team. So we're going to be focusing on our two main damage shield. That's going to be Ellie. Ellie thinks her enhancement comes in with a great limit burst that is registered as physical, but scales on magic, and that means you can use physical killers to add to her. Add to her. Great stuff. We're also adding another damage dealer. Of course, one of the big saviors for Dark Visions is, of course, Zuvu. Sun Vu, or Wu Long, as I like to call him. 
really incredible unit where we just add the Dark Elementals and fire away, and that's where Dr. Aiden comes in. He adds Dark Elemental to the entire physical damage team team and decreases with 100%. Makes life so much more easier. And once again, we're using the Breaker that also adds Elemental Resistance needed, and of course, Mastermind Son and Riches is going to be chaining up so we hit the maximum caps. So we are on the safe side. What did you say we're going to have them? Hmm. And if you're wondering, Ellie has around 125% killers and about 200% limber damage increase in her kit now. And Oolong has 175% killers. So that, yeah, that's around those parts, as I recall right now. Alright. Let's just add the amplifying, add the element of resistance, and of course everyone has... What is needed. And you, for the most part, you don't need to worry about Ellie with her TM passive. You can most of the time just ignore that. Alright, good enough. And let's just do this. Amplify. And let's see what do we got here. We're gonna be using. Oh, sorry. Uh increase. There we are. And uh, we are going to be going. And let's just copy what we need to copy. Give to the team. And riches, doesn't matter because we can't utilize his killers, but we might as well just spam all the cooldowns. Just because we can. <laughs> Alright. Let's see if we can get the maximum damage. Beautiful. And we're going to be aiming on to you. Because the AR frames we're using here are single target. But Ellie and, of course, Wulong is going to be able to do some serious damage. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba -ba -ba. One, two. Now, what I normally do, because... There, the chance for Aikido to cast all, cast all three is minimal. I like to sometimes take his uh, single target BS move because you can sometimes be lucky that can hit where it needs to. But uh, it should be fine. Alright, fire this one off because it does take a little while. Fire. And fire. And that should be fine. We were a little too slow activating because I couldn't hit what I needed to hit over here, but hopefully it should still be more enough to hit the damage. Yes, there we are, because again, it is the lower stages, so they're fairly easy. But timing-wise, I was a little too slow to activating it long, but there we are. We did more than enough damage. Straightforward, beautiful. And let's just get the numbers. There we are, maximum points. Onward to the next one. So our third fight we're going to be taking on is a Lightning Elemental that is weak to physical attacks and is a stone type, and it does some water attacks. But this team we're using is basically a turn one destroyed. We got, of course, Carton, who does a lot of damage for his first turn. He chains with the R frames with very high damage modifiers, and we are, of course, using Cloud's Limber's finishing move, so he's going to be just fine. We're using Sakura and Ayaka, who's going to debuff uh, Lightning Resistance up to 100%, but at the same time also buffing the team up with 150%. You can also use something like Radiant Lightning, who could debuff 120% on the first turn, but I find her extra 150% buff just a little bit more worthy than just um, the 120% elemental debuff without the buffs. So, and by the way, she can also buff then burst damage with 30% if you're using some sort of a finisher, uh, finish type. But Cloud, he can basically amplify his own limit burst with 100%. So, we do have a cannon away at the moment. Sego, Sego, Sego. Yeah, go. there you go. Good. Yes, <laughs> you're a bit in the way, my friend. <laughs> yes, you are such a good boy. Yes, you are. All right. So, we are going to be sitting a triple cast. The triple cast is maybe a little um, <clears throat> over the top, but... Why the hell not? We might as well just do that. Uh, actually, I just noticed that uh, I might not have given her the her TM, so we can only do cast. Okay, fine, two cast is more than enough. We don't need to do a triple cast, that's fine. Carden, he's gonna go in with his AR. Now, both Carden and Cloud has 300% stone killers. This is gonna be fine, and of course with Rico, 
we are breaking and adding lightning elements to the entire team. There we are. And where is it? I think we can only do cast it. So let me see if I can remember right. This should be the one that is the boosting and reduce damage taken. And which is, let's see, there we are. Decrease lightning resistance there and buffing. Those are the ones we were looking for. All right. And let's see if we can somewhat time this one correctly. And there we are. And that should hopefully mean we hit everything. Right, buddy? <laughs> if you can decide. And there we are. Maximum cap in the first turn. Simple enough when it comes to the first stages. So let's just move to the next one very soon as we are going to see all the perfect points coming along the way. Yeah, there was a little bit of fluff that came along the way. Boom. There we go. Elegant. Onward then. So now we're going to go for our fourth match. This one is weak for magic attacks, fire elemental, and is a beast type. Now it does some ice damage back at us, but we are doing a one turn damage, so we don't have to worry about that. Of course, we're going to be using Roy, because Roy is a unit limited to only fire, but he does have beast kill up to 150%, so he's going to be doing quite a bit of damage. Long is going to be our other damage dealers, so we just certain we're going to hit the maximum cap. And we're going to have Leverithon and Elena going to be the chains for the air frames. They're just going to be dual casting it. Both of them have fire weapons, so we can have the maximum effective effectiveness getting a maximum point. We're using Riku, of course, to break with highest numbers. And we're using Sylvie to buff up Wulong, um, so we're certain we're getting quite a bit of damage. So we should be able to do this on a single one turn full on damage craze. And let me get my micros up here. Because I like using micros, just make it much more easier and reliable. <laughs> uh, long live emulators, you are the greatest thing that's ever been created. All right, bum, bum, add in the beast killers, bum, and combustion. Thank you for the hosting, and we're just going to be breaking, and then we are going to be... It's mostly just for the buffing, not so much for the breaking, and there we are for that. We're going to dual cast AR... And, oh, that was the wrong dual cast. This is the right dual cast we want. AR as well. Dual cast. The BS. <clears throat> I'm gonna be aiming for you. Fire away. One, two, three. And fire off. And we should get all the beautiful damage all over the place. There we go. Should also be maximum. Maximum damage. Great! And now we should also get all the maximum numbers too. Effectiveness all the way. As it should be. Alright, coming in. Coming in with those beautiful numbers. We love getting maximum scores. Oh, so good. So let's go for our final one on stage one. One. Now we're going to be taking on the final stage. We're going to take on Dark Bungle. And this one is a physical damage. We're going to go in with Dark Elemental. He can fire off with some Light Elemental right back at you, but we're going to go turn one damage. We're going to tell El Rico in here. Gumi did finally fix his uh, Magnus ability, so when it procs off, it only procs off once, but fires basically off with a six times BS at their face. And that's what we go with. But we're also going to have in Cloud, who is going to be our finisher. So we're making sure we're going to do as much damage as possible. We got Dr. Aiden, who's going to come in there, adding the Dark Elements, but also buffing 170%. We got Rico, who's going to be breaking. And we got Levinson and Elena triple casting. So we can try to get the maximum cap out of this. So what do you say? We go in, have some fun, see a cute little spirit uh, creature dying right in front of us. Ah, oh. that's really sad to think of how we're gonna kill that beautiful thing. 
Look at him. So elegant. But sadly, my friend, we had the sad music going on. This is the time where we just have to realize we gotta, we gotta, we gotta take that thing out. Truly, I'm living out to my name as evil. As we gotta be taking that glorious little thing away from us. But we will remember him. How much we care for him. As we gotta be taking him away. And remember to start out Klaus Limpers just a little bit before. And you can do it just like this. We will remember your Kabungo. It was wonderful to see you. <sighs> Indeed. So sad. So sad. And we got maximum damage. We did well. We did well. We did, did well. <sighs> so that was my journey. On the stage one, it was beautiful. It was a journey that shall be remembered, Igabungle's name, for all eternity. So guys, please like and subscribe for the channel. So we can laugh together in the darkness. <laughs>